Hi champs, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances Okiki. I'm so happy to be back here and I know it's been a long while. Well, if you're new, welcome. I hope you take time out to watch one or two other videos like this one if it touched you hit the red button subscribe you know all the usual suspects so today i'll be talking about when they love you no more okay growing up i could never understand it when i saw it in the movies tv shows magazines and all that people saying that they don't they don't love someone anymore it just never made sense to me like at a young age like how can you love someone today and not love them tomorrow because i'd seen first corinthians 13 4 to 8 and even the bible agreed with me that love never dies we're all made in god's image and if we have his attributes and god can love us despite our not being deserving of his love how can you say to that person you supposedly loved you know the person you said this is the person i love then you hurt them and you tell them, okay, you know what, I don't love you anymore, I love someone else. Well, as an adult, now I understand why. Okay, truly, love never dies. It's just people's perception of love that dies. Some people say the words, I love you, without knowing what that word love means. Some say it's because it is expected. It is what people in a relationship are meant to say, you know. And then some other people say it because they believe and they know that when they tell you I love you, they can get what they want from you easily. When love dies for most, it is not the love for you that died. The truth is, they were never in love with you. With you. Why owe you? You. In the first place. So, champ, stop crying. Wondering what is wrong with me. And why didn't I love me anymore? It's not you. It's not. It's the idea of love that died. The tough that they were in love with you was what died. The thing that they thought they loved about you died, not you. The idea of love for you, yeah, because now they realize that they never really loved you. They never really loved you. The you that is made up of body, soul, spirit, mind, everything. That makes you special. They never loved you. But were in love with something about you. It could be your body. The sex. Money. Intelligence. You know. Wanting to be seen with you. You know something etc etc. Most times when people tell me. I love so and so. And I ask them why. I've never really gotten something deep answers. You hear things like, okay, I'm not judging people's love, but you just hear things like, uh, so the person is kind, nice, beautiful, smart, treats me well, makes sure I, you know, it's never really about the person that they're in love with, but an outside perception and what they get from being with that person. Remember, champs, we human beings are naturally selfish, so most of us go looking out for ourselves. I'm not saying you shouldn't love you. You should always love number one. That is you. But in loving number one, you understand what love really means. And you'll be able to love another. Well, I think the whole world today has turned the word love upside down. It is used freely and has truly lost, lost its true meaning. You know? Okay, I think I'm deviating. truth is, when you love and you mean it, you know what love means. You understand love. You get what the Bible says love is. When you love truly, that person could be undeserving of that love, but you still love them. Even if you walk away because you know you deserve better and they couldn't love you right, years later, you know, you still do love them. Even though you're not with them anymore and you've moved on. I'm not talking about sex and lust here. You know, sex and lust is different from love. Love never dies. Yes. So you begin to learn people's definition of love and why they love someone. You'll be wary, you know, like when people say I love you, 
something love is on the surface you go to the movies you kiss you hold hands have sex be taken care of have fun and other things like that if someone tells you their love for you died champ be relieved smile and dry those tears of yours they were never in love with you their purpose for loving you is dead and over so it, it was time for them to go they now realize they never loved you maybe they did know that from the beginning you know? now champ you have the opportunity with them gone to meet someone who will love you truly deeply and right love itself never ever dies it's just people's reasons that die so anyways you might want to check out my other articles or you know, videos depending on where you're listening or watching this from love is not a feeling is one then another is 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 your love blind anyways champs thank you so much for listening and i hope my thoughts on this have been able to help you somehow as imperfect as they are and as always do not forget that you're a champ and i love you but god loves you more till next time my name is francis okiki don't forget to like give me a thumbs up subscribe share all other usual suspects don't keep this to yourself so till next time bye champs <laughs>